Hey guys, this is Ashby with Ashby Farms. I'm out here in the morning before uh, working at my day job and just knocking out a couple of hundred frames, normally 100 or 200 every morning for a couple months and then we'll make all 5,000. So anyways, uh, this is a video on how I make so many beehive frames. Um, I've got a jig here that I made, give you an idea. We can make 21 frames at a time the dimensions on this are 31 and three quarters by 20 inches exactly. But really it's the inside diameter that matters. It depends on the thickness of your wood. So your inside diameter here is 17 and seven eighths by 29 and three quarters. And that will allow you to make uh, 21 frames at once. So I've got um, some holes here, which I believe are 13 sixteenths. And this is just standard electrical conduit, half inch, schedule 40. So run that in there. And this here, um, I run 18 gauge staples. And you don't have to use the Metabo brand. Um, I actually go with the knockoff brand from Harbor Freight normally. So it's a, a one and a quarter inch 18 gauge staple and staple gun here, easy to load. And you actually go through a bunch of staples doing this. Of course there's four per frame. And I've got just a little air compressor here. Um, some people I mean use whatever size you got, but this is a nice little bench top one. I don't have to get the big one out, all that. So um, next step, I usually start with them upright and there's a reason for that. It's when I go to flip this whole thing over that the top bar pieces will catch on this edge and they all won't fall out. Whenever I go to flip it, you'll see in a little bit. All right, so next thing is I run Type Bond 3. Type Bond 3 is waterproof. Um, as far as putting together frames, your wood glue is the strength, not the quarter inch crown staple. That just kind of holds everything tight and together while the glue sets up. Um, so come along here. I just I, I put a bead going one way, a bead going the other, and you'll see how that looks here in just a second. So whenever you smush in the top bars into all this, then it'll just kind of mash that glue out. And, and then the this is really key with the tops because when you're extracting a frame out of the beehives and pulling up, you want this to be the strongest piece here. Rarely is your bottom piece, I mean, unless you've got drone brood attached and you can just kind of wiggle a frame loose, but most of your torque is like with a, with a hive tool is gonna be putting stress on these two spots. So that's why I do the wood glue like that. I usually start with the nearest side. These things fit together really tight. So I'll start with it here, get that one in, push that. All right, so everybody's kind of together. If you look here, this isn't really seated correctly. We want them really flush. So I take a dead blow hammer. Come along here on that side. Put some hearing protection in, something. These are not OSHA approved, but safety third. <laughs> That's what we always say. So I'm just punching one staple per. I 
Okay, so I'll show you this here. See, I run, I run a grooved top bar so that we can slide slide an insert into it. You can see how the wood uh, the wood glue is just squeezed out amongst all those. They're all kind of flush. So this is where this bar comes into play is in flipping it over right here. It's it's holding all the pieces where they should be. So I just come to the end of the counter like this. And now if we look down inside here, you can see here that the wood glue's kind of mashed out. It's a lot of surface area there. And that's gonna be your most stressed point on the whole frame on a regular basis. And that's, we have really good bees that use a lot of propolis and that's kind of like bee glue. And that's gonna hold all these frames in their place in the hive to keep everything, you know, antifungal and antibacterial. The problem with propolis is when you're trying to break frames free of the propolis, we break frames regularly. Anybody who beekeeps and is in their hives a lot, that's what, that's what ends up happening. So that's why I really like Type Bond 3 because it's waterproof, it's exterior, interior. Um, so down here on the on the bottom, I'm just gonna come along, do the same thing, just putting a, a dot on uh, on each one. So I always start by making sure this side is flush right here, and I don't really worry about the other side. I'll show you why here in a couple minutes, but for being efficient, I'm gonna punch uh, staples down this whole side right here. So from the word go, I want this side correct. All right, so there's a good example of like, see all the wood is or all the wood glue is kind of mashing out in that joint. So I'm gonna staple these up, and then we'll flip it around, and then you'll see me. I tend to just pinch them, and and it's a little too close for comfort as far as a staple goes, but. So this one right here, sometimes they crack on the bottom and some people would worry about that. Actually the bees will get in here and they'll propolize all this. Like if you look into a frame that's at least a year old, I mean any nook and cranny they can propolize, they will. And that, that glue will actually, that propolis will actually act like glue and will fix all these problems where they crack like there and there. I've never had an issue with them. I mean, I know they crack, but as far as tearing apart, I don't really have an issue. So when we're done, then that's, uh, you know, it takes about 20 minutes to do 20 of them. So I figure it's going to be about a hundred hours worth of work for 5,000 frames, uh, give or take. So just plugging out an hour or two a day. If I can take this over here. And if you look at the design of these, it's really hard to twist one and one, but that stacks up perfectly even. I do two and two, so put two one way and then do two the other. And as you can see, I mean, that's like, uh, it's like 45 tall, 45 frames tall. So uh, we'll do that and then let me get over here. I give the glue at least uh, a day to dry. 24 hours to dry. I use the Acorn Deep plastic um, wax inserts. I guess you say foundation inserts. And these are the double dip. They offer a single dip, double dip, triple dip. I like the double dip. As you can see, there's a lot of excess wax, beeswax here on the frame. But if you try and wedge these in before the glue sets, um, then you'll end up popping the joint apart and then you just kind of wasted all your effort. So here's one from yesterday that we did. Um, I always pop these in on the bottom rail first, and this is your top rail here. And then I'm just kind of say that. There we go. And then those kind of snap into place. And now you can move them left and right, up and down. Um, that's what the bees will draw out. So. 
Thanks for watching the video. This is Ashby at Ashby Farms in our woodworking shop here. And Corey's behind the camera filming. And uh, so thank you to her as well. And hope you guys have an insight on how to build a lot of damn frames. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 5,000 frames is a, is a big undertaking. You know, next year we're gonna be building about 20,000 frames. So I just say we're just getting started. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like it. And y'all have a great day.